After this video, you will know what the variance is, how to calculate it, why there are two different formulas and what a difference is to the standard deviation. And let's get started right now. What is the variance? The variance is a measure that indicates how much your data scatters around the mean. So the variance has something to do with the dispersion of your data. Here is a simple example. Let's say you measure the height of a small group of people. The variance tells us how much our data scatters around the mean, so first we need to calculate the mean. The mean is easily obtained by summing the heights of the individuals and dividing them by the number of individuals. Let's say the result is a mean value of 155 centimeters. Now we want to know how much the data scatters around the mean value. In order to figure this out, we look at the difference of each person to the mean value. So we look at the first person who deviates 18 centimeters from the mean, the second person deviates minus 8 centimeters from the mean, the third minus 15 centimeters, the fourth 8 centimeters, the fifth minus 9 centimeters, and finally the sixth person deviates 6 centimeters from the mean. But we want to get a positive value every time no matter if the person is bigger or smaller than the mean. Therefore, we square the difference. For the first person, we have 18 times 18, which is 324. For the second person, we have minus 8 times minus 8, which is 64. And for the third person, we have 225, and so on and so forth. Now you're not interested in the deviation of each individual person from the mean value, but you want to know how big the spread is on average. Therefore, we sum up all values, that is 794, and divide this value by the number of participants. In our case, the number is 6. This is then 132.33. It is important to know that by squaring, the unit is no longer centimeters, but centimeters squared. So now we have calculated the average squared deviation from the mean. And exactly that is the variance. But slowly again, how is the formula for the variance now exactly? You can calculate the variance with the following formula. n is the number of persons, in our case it is 6 xi is the size of the individual persons and x dash is the mean value of all people. So the variance is the sum of squared differences divided by the number of values. For example, this means that we calculate the size of the first person minus the mean and square it, the size of the second person minus the mean and square it, and so on until we arrive at the last person. We then divide this by the number of people, in our case 6. The result is then 132.33 cm squared. So each person has some squared deviation from the mean of course, but on average the squared deviation from the mean is 133.33 cm squared. At this point, you can already see why the variance is a little bit harder to interpret than the standard deviation. This brings us to the next point. What is the difference between the variance and the standard deviation now? As you already know, the variance is the squared average distance from the mean. The standard deviation is the average distance from the mean without the square. So we have one and the same formula. The only difference is that in order to calculate the standard deviation, the root is taken and for the variance it is not. If we put it another way, the variance is the squared standard deviation and the standard deviation is the root of the variance. By taking the root of the standard deviation, it is easier to interpret the standard deviation than the variance. By taking the root, 
the standard deviation always has the same unit as the original data. In our example, it is centimeters. The variance is in centimeters squared. For this reason, it is advisable to always use the standard deviation to describe your data, as it is easier to interpret. Now you might notice one thing. I always talk about the mean deviation from the mean value in the standard deviation. But for the mean deviation, I would actually just add up all the deviations and divide them by the number of participants, just like you calculate a mean value. You're absolutely right with that, but there are different mean values. In the case of the standard deviation, it's not the arithmetic mean that is used, but the quadratic mean. If the arithmetic mean would be used, the result would be zero every time. So far so good, but now there is one more thing to consider, namely there are two slightly different formulas for the variance. The difference between the equations is that one is divided by n and one is divided by n minus one. But why? Why are there two different formulas? Usually you want to know the variance of the population. For example, you want to know the variance of the height of all German professional soccer players. Now, if you had the height of all German professional soccer players, you would take this equation with 1 divided by n. Usually it is not possible to survey the whole population, so you take a sample and want to estimate the variance of the population with this sample. In this case, you use this formula. Therefore, whenever you have all the data and you want to calculate the variance for just this data, you use 1 divided by n. If you only have one sample and you want to estimate the variance for the whole population, you use n minus 1. If you created a questionnaire and your survey did not cover the whole population, you always use the formula on the right side. Likewise, if you have conducted a clinical study, then you also use the formula on the right to estimate the variance of the population. By default, the common statistic software solutions, for example like Datadab, calculate the variance using the formula on the right side. If you want to calculate the variance, you can easily do this online with Datadab. Just visit datadab.net, copy your data into this table and then you select the variable you want to analyze. Further, you simply click on the variance and you will get the variance output in a very uncomplicated way. So I hope you liked the video and see you next time. Bye bye.